How's it going everyone? I'm Brady Kasky and welcome to Feasting with the Freshman Four. Hi guys, my name is Kelly Trin and I'm a first year video producer at Mustang News and today we're going to be making some mac and cheese. Hi, I'm Matthew Bornhorst. I'm a video producer here at Mustang News, and today I'm gonna to be making a 20 minute stovetop mac and cheese. What's up, Mustangs? My name is Sophia Sylvia, and I'm a freshman video reporter with Mustang News. Today, my fellow freshmen and I on video team are going to be showing you four ways to make mac and cheese. So let's get into it. All right, so you're gonna need a couple things for our one pot mac and cheese. Most importantly, well, maybe not most importantly, but very importantly, you're gonna need two cups of cheddar cheese. We're also gonna need <clears throat> uh, whole milk, a box of Barilla elbow pasta, some butter, and some parsley. And we are going to get our five cups of milk Boiling. All right, now that our mac and cheese, or our milk is up to a simmer, we're gonna add our box of elbows in there. Now you're gonna occasionally wanna stir your elbows so that they don't stick together. Mine were sticking together a little bit there, but we caught it just in time. Now that our pasta is done, we are going to add our butter in, about a, about a half cup of butter and we are going to stir that in. And then we're going to add our two cups of cheddar cheese. Make sure you take your pasta off the heat when you add all this and just try to fold in your cheese. I'm gonna take a huge glob of that. Look how stringy it is, nice and creamy. I'm gonna take that, look at that, and that fresh parsley that we chopped up earlier. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on top. And here is your finished stovetop mac and cheese. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is worth it. Oh yeah. So now you've basically just learned how to make one pot mac and cheese, the Brady way. <laughs> my pasta is boiling is usually when I try to organize all my ingredients. I kind of have them all set here already, but for my recipe today, you're going to be needing shredded Mexican cheese, cream cheese, butter, and a little splash of half and half or heavy cream. Today I'm going to be using half and half, but either works for the recipe. Essentially what I do is I take the butter and I stick it directly into the pot. Is you wanna take a splash of milk and kinda of add that to your butter and mix the butter and like the milk kind of all around and then you wanna go take that and put it back on the stove. So you add your pasta back into the pot and you basically kind of just like stir it into the cream. That way the butter gets all in there, make it all nice and creamy. Um, and then you'll turn your stove right back off. That way the pasta doesn't overcook. And once you're kind of just like mixing the cream in there, that's when it gets really fun. So yeah, I'm gonna add my cream cheese, just kind of like blend it in there. And the cream cheese is where you're gonna get the bulk of your flavor in addition to all the other cheeses. But that's kind of what it gives it like that cheesy pasta. But to kind of spice it up and give it like that orange American cheese style, I then take um, some shredded cheese, shredded cheddar, and then I kind of like mix that in there in order to kind of give it that like cheesy familiar mac and cheese texture. I love my mac and cheese because you combine like four different types of cheese and it's really simple and it's really good and it's really yummy and like it just hits, you know? So I'm gonna be making a recipe based off of America's Test Kitchen and it's gonna start off taking one cup of milk and one and a half cups of water, putting that into a saucepan. And now that the milk and water has been brought up to a boil, you're gonna bring it down so that it's just simmering, and you're gonna add eight ounces of elbow macaroni. All right, now that the pasta is done, it's time to start constructing the sauce. And as you can see, a lot of the liquid has been absorbed by that pasta. So now it's gonna be time 
to add a kind of strange ingredient, that's gonna be American cheese. And along with that, you are going to add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and finally, just a sprinkle of cayenne pepper. So then now that you can see that it's fully combined, then I'm gonna take it off the heat and then add four ounces of a sharp cheddar cheese. And now that we've let the pasta sit for about five minutes, you can uncover and take a look at it. It's gonna look a little loose, but you're just gonna stir it together until it's well combined. And it might look a little loose, but it'll, it will uh, thicken up as it sets. So you're just gonna add a little of salt and a little pepper as you see fit. All right, the moment of truth to give it a taste. It's creamy, it has a nice kick from the cayenne pepper, and it's super easy. 20 minutes, that's all you need, one pot. So my mac and cheese, unlike the other freshmen, is a baked mac and cheese with breadcrumbs and bacon. I am putting the pasta in the water. Oh my God. So got some flour. It's a third cup of flour. Just want to put some salt in there, some pepper. See anything going on. Okay, basically I have um, the pasta boiling and then this is like milk, butter, flour, salt, pepper, all that fun stuff in the middle one. Okay, so with your sauce mixture, you want to add in the cheese now. Put all of that in. So I already beat these eggs earlier. They're just normal eggs, I guess. We're gonna take it off the stove now. Here's our buttered pan. And here's all of our mac and cheese. Y'all see that? That looks pretty bomb. Okay. I was supposed to put the bacon in here. We're just gonna put, we're gonna, we're gonna compromise here. We're just gonna put like half of this chopped bacon here in the one that I put in the pot already, or the pan. Then we're gonna put the rest in the pot so I can actually stir it up. And now, final step, you just wanna chuck on some breadcrumbs. All right guys, so. This is, this is it so far, guys. We're almost done. Now we just gotta stick it in the oven. Okay, so now we wait half an hour, unlike my other friends on this team who just did stovetop mac and cheese. Look at that. Look at all that brown, crispy breadcrumbs that I know none of my, none, none of these homies got that. Only I got that stuff. So thank you guys for watching and we're gonna taste test this. Guys, I think I did something great.